In this new tutorial we will talk about the subject of fasteners with the help of our friends of index fixing systems. We will see two very important aspects regarding drywall panel fasteners. On the one hand, let's see solutions that users have when they have to put medium or light loads on the wall. On the other hand, let's see which screws are used for the installation because regarding this subject there are always some doubts and I think it's going to be interesting to do this review in order to solve them. The working procedure we are going to follow is that we will see each of the fasteners, seeing in which cases we can use them and putting them in this model that we have prepared to see how we install them and on the back the inner part of the wall that we never see how each one of the elements that we are installing behave. We are going to start with the ones that serve us to put loads on the wall. Here's a sample of the different anchors we have. From those that are used for light loads to those that are used for high loads. In principle, for light loads with a minimum strength of about 5 kilograms, 11 pounds, we have these winged plastic anchors. They are anchors that in general are used for hollow walls. Logically drywall panel is a hollow wall too, although then you'll see that there are some anchors that are specific to it. With this system what we do is that, when we introduce it, when we put the screw in, it's going to unfold the wings and it will act, not only with the expansion of the anchor, but acting also as a rivet. We're going to use a 10 mm drill bit. To work on drywall we can use any type of drill bit, because it is a very soft material. Something important. This anchor is 45 mm, and the area where it expands and makes the fastening is at its end. That means that the screw which I am going to use it has to be more than 45 mm, so that it can be screwed in. At the same time, as it moves forward it will make the anchor retract. With the wings acting like a rivet, this anchor should be used with caution because, if the panel is not strong enough, it can produce some slack when we hit it to pass the wings. In this case it is possible that it will turn when you put the screw in. For a sturdy panel, it can work but, in any case, to get out of doubt, go to the next type of fastener that will give you a lot more possibilities. These self-drilling anchors are specific for drywall. They can hold about 8.5 kilos, 19 pounds. Note that they enter directly by screwing them, as if the own anchor were a screw. In addition to these ones in nylon you also have them in Zamac and Metallic. These blocks are mounted directly on the tip of the screwdriver. A Phillips of 3, pH 3, is indicated. At the beginning, test the pressure that you have to apply, so that the self-drilling anchor goes in without damaging the panel. When you put the screw in, you see how the tip comes off. This is normal because this tip is used only as a drill bit to penetrate the material, and then it is not useful for fastening. When we are already talking about medium loads, we are already thinking about loads, for example, from 10 kilos, 22 pounds, you have this plastic expansion anchor that is more traditional, which has some fins here, close to the collar that prevent it from turning when we are installing it, and that is a polypropylene wall anchor. It's going to expand by retraction when we install it. Since we are using an anchor of diameter 8 mm, we use an 8 mm drill bit. Look at how the fins are nailed down to prevent them from turning. To find out the correspondence between the screw size and the anchor, you can look for it directly on the box, or you can go to the catalog or to the website. As we are putting in an 8 anchor, we're going to choose a screw that is in the normal range for this type of anchors. In this case, one of 4.5 millimeters. Already when we start with high loads you're going to find, for example, this steel hollow wall anchor, which is what you're going to see more often in the professional world. 
it can support up to about 20 kilos, 44 pounds, and it must be used with a heavy-duty gun, which will open and expand the hollow wall anchor. What does it give us? Well, of course, it is made of a very resistant material, and, moreover, that this expansion fastening system, with a very wide rivet, covers a lot of space in the plasterboard, and makes it more difficult for it to break. On the box it is indicated what is its diameter and therefore the measurement of the drill bit we're going to use. We introduce the anchor with a hammer until these two hooks are perfectly anchored. These two hooks are going to ensure that the anchor does not move and does not turn. We unscrew the screw head a few millimeters, just enough to fit the tool. We introduce the tool totally parallel to the wall surface and we press to open the jaws. If the panel is not too thick, it is possible that you need to squeeze a little more. In this case, we tighten the screw by hand again and then we tighten a little more until we notice that anchor completed the expansion and is now firmly. Although this is a very characteristic anchor for use on in plasterboard, you can use it on any hollow wall that has a soft surface on which the hook can be nailed. The metric of the screw logically determines the anchor it carries and, therefore, the drill diameter we need to choose. In places where we don't have much space to work with the screw, we can use a clamp that requires a smaller space. In the catalog you have different lengths of anchors, it is important to choose the one that is suitable for the thickness of the drywall panel or panels that you have on the wall. When we have higher loads, in this case 45 kilos, 100 pounds we have this kind of anchors. What characteristics should a plastic wall anchor? Well, as we saw in the previous one, it has to be made of a very resistant material. In this case it is a plastic material, but it is polyamide which is not going to break due to the load in any case and, in addition, the shape of the opening covers a great part of the surface of the panel and this prevents it from tearing due to the weight. Logically, when I calculate how I do the placement of these loads, what I have to do is multiply the number of fixing points that I have to get the total weight of the load. If I'm going to put a load of 90 kilograms, I'm not going to put only two anchors that hold me 45. I'm going to put three because, in this way, I guarantee that I have less problem overloading any of them. It's the same design you saw before with the polypropylene anchor, but since it is a much more resistant material, such as polyamide, it also gives it much more resistance. Always remember that, for all jobs we do, we put on gloves. I, so far, haven't worn them because I have to be taking screws to show them to you. I don't wear them, but, I wear them usually, and, in this case we're going to talk about installation and I'll have around here some freshly cut profiles that always have burrs and so on, and therefore it is essential that we work with gloves for our safety. Let's see now four fasteners that are fundamental when we do the installation of drywall panels, both on metal plates and studs, and, in the case of sole plates, to drill them directly to the floor. The first is the most usual installation screw that we use to drill the panels to the plates of metal framing, which is the usual structure in Europe. This black color is because it is a phosphatic screw. I seize the opportunity to clarify this because sometimes we're wrong. It's not that the gypsum will attack the screw. We're talking about drywall partition. And drywall partition, as it has no water, does not have an important corrosive factor. But it is true that, being phosphatic, the phosphate coating is a kind of treatment that leaves a certain porosity in the head, and this is going to do two things. On the one hand, that with that porosity the joint compound that we will apply to the joints ill grip much better, and, on the other, that it will not create rust stains when all the compound you've put on it dries. This is a specific screw for drywall because it is not usually used for nothing else. Although I told you that there are no more varieties, it is true that we also have screws for special situations. 
For example, we have a screw that is used to put one panel on another. When we have an installation done and we have lost the position of the profiles, we screw directly into the bottom panel and, in that case, we use screws that have a slightly larger screw thread pitch to guarantee us a good support with the bottom panel. Another case is when we find that the screws are continually bouncing when we introduce them through the drywall. This can happen when we have profiles that are excessively thick for normal screws. In this case, what we use are screws bit tip, also phosphate. With them we can screw in profiles higher than 0.6 and up to 3 mm. Sometimes we want to screw profiles directly to each other. In this case what we use is a screw bit tip like this, which is a special screw for this type of installations. It has a mushroom head and allows us to easily do that job. And finally, when we're working an attaching frame on the floor, it is always a very tiresome procedure, after drilling the profile, to drill the floor, to put the anchors, to replace the profile. The easiest thing is to use this type of hammer in fixing, that allow you to set the frame with much less work. They have a wide collar, to avoid that when we hit, it can slip through the hole we've made in the sole plate. Well, the truth is we don't have any more fasteners to show you, we have practiced with all of them. We hope that it has been useful to you, and that you've seen all the possibilities we have both for placing loads and for installation. So, if you have any doubt, or if as an expert you want to add some important advice, you know that's what comments are for, so that you can ask or advise us. And all the other DEers who are very interested in testing products and learning techniques. So, we just need, as always, that you give us your like, that you subscribe to the channel, if you are not yet. Remember to click the bell icon to receive notifications of all the news that we release, and that you share this video with all your friends who like D.